involved with orthomolecular medicine. Yes. What exactly is orthomolecular medicine? Orthomolecular medicine is to preventing and curing disease by using the proper nutrition, this is the vitamins, minerals, and amino acids, and this is the ozone and the hydrogen and the other yes, nutrients is essential for keeping the optimum health. In medical school, were you taught anything about nutrition, the, the impact of nutrition on health? They did not teach about the nutrition, only the meaning of the vitamins and minerals, and also mostly calorie, about talking about the calories. That's it. In my clinic, I use the salvestrol. The salvestrol is containing the fruits and vegetables and herbs. Cancer cells has a enzyme of CYP1, CYP1B1. And but normal cells does not. Once salvestrol enters the cells, and CYP1B1, it changes the salvestrol to the ap apoptosis-induced substances. Okay. On the other hand, normal cells has no CYP1B1, so CYP salvestrol does not have any effect. So salvestrol is uh, uh, good for it's natural to the body and also does not harm the normal cells, only kills the cancer cells. Wow, that's pretty fascinating. So yeah. the salvestrol selectively toxic to cancer cells because the cancer cells have the CYP1B1 that causes the salvestrol to create apoptosis in the cell yes. to kill them. Yeah. Do I understand it properly? Exactly. Fascinating. Salvestrol is produced by natural fruits and vegetables the last day or two as they ripen on the vine, and it works with the CYP1B1 enzyme system to become selectively toxic to cancer cells. But unless you're eating vine-ripened produce, you are not getting salvestrol because almost all of the fruits and veggies that you find in the grocery stores were picked green, and they were ripened on the boat or in the truck as they were transported. How important is your belief system? How important is it to have positive emotions? when you're treating okay. cancer, to keep yeah. hope? Because, uh, you know, the fear reduces immunities. And I have so ma many, uh, so many patients who survived so stage four cancer, but they so, so survived more than five years. They always, they have the hope. And they are never thinking about the bad things and always uh, talking about the uh, family and the friends and to stay with, living with a happy life yeah. 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 and never think about the cancer. Right. Some patients has told me cancer teaches lots of things teach her. Yeah. So belief is very important for the cancer patients yeah. Yeah. because the modern Okay, modern medicine physician, oncologist, always gives the patients fears. That's the most problem in the, our the medical world. Mm -hmm.